So, hi, I'm Aaron, this is David, um, and we've been working uh, for some years on a document called bettercrypto.org, and no, it's not dead. Um, so, short project history, we started that after the Snowden leaks. Um, uh, basically, we announced it here for the first time. The project kicked off, and it was really the idea that uh, back then uh, we had... Um, Lots of email traffic was unencrypted. Um, there were no good guides on, on how to enable crypto uh, in different services. And we uh, came to the, uh, to the conclusion, basically, it needs um, for sysadmins, it needs a copy and paste instruction set. So documentation. Um, so uh, yeah, so we have a pretty long document now for copy and paste instructions for all kinds of web servers, mail servers, IMAP servers, VPNs, etc. And, um, you know, uh, we, we've been working on that slowly, but um, we didn't update so much in the last years. Whenever there was a new um, poodle attack or something, we checked the document and checked if our recommendations for crypto settings were still strong enough to defend against that attack. And they were, actually. So this was a very good feedback that we followed good advice and, um, yeah, and we made good, good recommendations. Um, lessons learned. Um, so, you know, we also one of the reasons is I wanted to have like good documentation for myself. So that's why we wrote it in a sense. And many people felt the same. That's why we came together and reviewed it. Um, but thanks to uh, uh, Anja, um, actually, I know documentation really counts and people really love it. And we get lots of requests on the mailing list again and again. Is this document being updated? Um, and we discovered LaTeX is a pretty bad format for contributors, so we'll change it to Git uh, to Markdown uh, and have uh, p people just basically um, uh, update it on GitHub. Yes, do you want to say something? No. no? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So since this is a lightning talk, we'll keep it really short. Uh, we plan the next release of the document uh, on GitHub, basically on at the end of this year, and. Uh, yeah, we need you. Do you want to pitch? We need you. So this this idea really of this document, why why we're standing here and saying that is like, you know, we could write this document ourselves, but time. And secondly, there's a really important uh, thing about uh, crypto documents. It needs really many pairs of eyes which look at it. And if something's wrong, please state it publicly on the mailing list or on GitHub, because that's the only way, we, first of all, we can get it right. And second of all, um, this is transparent. We don't want to have like a closed standardization body. We want to copy ideas from standardization bodies, but we want to be extremely transparent on what gets, what recommendation gets into that. And yeah, here's how you can find it. Just maybe one thing to, to add the way the document was built, and I think it's something you should keep. Uh, if you look at the document, the first part is actual configuration. You can copy paste. And it should work. Uh, at least they work when you wrote uh, them back. Oh, it, they're still working, yeah. at least for mo most of them. And then the second part is what we call at the time a theoretical part, where we discuss the setting and why we choose certain settings. So if you are interested, you can also check why certain decisions were made to pick up certain algorithms or not pick them up, um, and why we choose certain settings over others. So everything is documented and uh, should be reviewed. That's the idea. Okay, so we need you guys. Okay, okay thanks.